We had one of our sisters travel to Greece and she had a white supremacist experience. Let's go ahead and roll that. So I've been sitting here having dinner and all of these, all of these people have been coming in after me. And not one person has come over here to ask me, um, is everything okay? Do you need anything? Um, how are you liking your food? But yet, these people sitting across from me, um, Caucasian, they've been over to their table twice, asking them, you know, is everything okay? Joking with them, having conversation, you know, um, and it, it's a shame. It's a shame how we are treated no matter where we go, okay? Nobody's come over to my table. Nobody, I had to flag down the server. Um, and let him know can i get uh can i get salt and pepper can i get um uh, balsamic um because he never came over to my table to say how's everything um did you need anything or or nothing so you know be be aware where you spend your money i'm i'm not coming to any more european countries okay because we're not treated right we're not treated right. They, you know, when I walked past, when I walked past the outside, they was very nice, very nice. Oh, come in, everything's fresh. So now I come in, I'm sitting down having dinner. Nobody's come to my table one time to say anything. Is everything okay? Are you enjoying everything? No, no short conversation, nothing. Okay, so they want our money. Okay, so be careful where you spend your money. I'm never coming to any more European countries again. So um, this is definitely a weird experience. Um, I'm not going to complain, but I will write a review. Um, just letting, you know, African-Americans beware not to support this business and be careful where you spend your money. I've told y'all time and time again, I want to keep telling y'all and I want to keep highlighting this is that with black people, you go into these European countries and what do you expect? on the treatment. You see how these people treat us here. That's their cousins. So why would they be treating us any better? I, I, I don't understand that. You can go spend your money in an African nation and get you some good food and get treated right by your brothers and sisters. I actually get served and have some great service. I love when I go to the African concert and we go to restaurants and things like that. You know, we went to South Africa back in March. My family enjoyed that. They really loved it, especially my daughter, because that was their first time going. My daughters couldn't get enough of South Africa. They were saying like, what could we do to try to come live here? I mean, they wanted to live in South Africa after having that experience, after enjoying how the life is so much better, you know, the, the cost of living, different things that, that they have that just conducive, you know, even for them as young ladies, they actually can afford an apartment there. Here in America, you have a hard time for an, for an apartment if you don't got no high end, end job. You know what I'm saying? So why, why, why pass all of the, those African nations up to go give your hard earned money to people that don't respect you? Why? I'm not doing it. I haven't lost nothing in no Europe. Nothing. Because I'm not going to deal with their problems. Why don't you make it your mission to see all the African countries you can see? At least the ones that's ran by us, because you know you got them North African countries, and you know how some of that goes sometimes, right? But at least them are the Caribbean nations. See some of them. Go to Latin American countries where, where we are at. You can go to places like Belize, Suriname, all kind of places that we can go to visit and have a good time. So I've been sitting here having dinner, and all of these, all of these people have been coming in after me and not one person has come over here to ask me um, is everything okay do you need anything um, how are you liking your food but yet these people sitting across from me um, Caucasian they've been over to their table twice so you know be be aware where you spend your money I'm, I'm not coming to any more European countries Okay, because we're not treated right. We're not treated right. We do not need to be giving our hard-earned money to no white supremacists that are going to treat us any kind of way. I tell y'all this. 
I'm not going to spend money on hotel, plane, uh, visas and all kinds of things to go away from America to get the same treatment. When I leave America, I'm trying to get away from that treatment and go into somewhere better. So black Americans stop spending your money in countries where people don't like you visit African countries. That's going to be your best vacation. But let me know what y'all think about what happened with this sister here. Like I said, this, we need to put a boycott on European countries. Just that simple. We don't ever have to be subjected to be treated in this manner.